Hello class, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to the home of everything Barcelona where we are going to be discussing the latest transfer stories. We start with Juan Foyt, it has been reported that Barcelona are currently working on an affordable alternative for the 42 million euro rated right back target. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about Bernardo Silva of Man City. Barcelona have officially ruled out a summer move for the player. Of course, this comes after Man City CEO and Pep Guardiola themselves have said that Bernardo Silva to Barca is impossible at the moment. So Barcelona have ruled out a summer move themselves for the midfielder. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into it, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Give the video a like and please make sure to watch it right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. With very little time left in the summer transfer window, Barcelona are looking to complete some last minute business as Xavi and Ander six further reinforcements to his roster. Having splashed the cash on improving his attack and centre back department, the Barca head coach is keen in signing two new fullbacks, one each on the right and left side. Marcos Alonso and Javi Galan are the choices for the left back slot, while at right back, Barcelona have identified Villarreal and Argentina star Juan Foy as their primary target. However, the 24 year old is protected by a 42 million euro release clause, which reportedly has increased by 30% this week, making his pursuit so complicated. Hence, reported, as reported by journalist Helena Condes, Barcelona see the signing of Foyt as economically unfeasible at this point and are looking at affordable alternative for the former Tottenham Hotspur defender. While the update from Helena Condes does not mention any specific names that have been considered, previous reports have stated that Borussia Dortmund's Thomas Munier is a target for Barcelona, although the Bundesliga club do not intend to sell him. Former La Masia defender and Arsenal outcast Hector Bellerin is another player on Barcelona's radar. Given that he is in the final year of his contract at the Emirates and is not part of the plans, he could be available on the cheap this summer. There have also been links to Ren, 30-year-old captain Hamari Traore, with reports even indicating that Barcelona were already working on a 3 million euro bid for the right back. With seasonal deaths not favored at all by manager Xavi Hernandez, it is imperative that Barcelona sign a new right back as they cannot go through the entire season with Sergio Roberto and makeshift options in Jules Koundé and Ronald Araujo playing in that position. But with not much time left in the transfer window, they must act so quickly and try to close the deal at the earliest possible. Indeed, Barcelona have to act quickly, they must act quickly because there is just two days left for the transfer business to come to an end. Um, right back and left back have been the most talked about roles that Barca need to strengthen these past few days. Um, there have been a lot of complications as well. You know, talking about the right back, we've been talking a lot about Juan Foyd of Villarreal being Barcelona's first choice, of course. He should be the first choice because he's first of all young, he's just 24 and have great potential, he's so good. But the fact have been that Villarreal have been complicating matters in terms of the transfer. They want Barca to pay all his release clause which is worth 54 million. And the worst of it all, it have increased to 52 million I think. So it's even more complicated to even see Barcelona going for the deal. So Barcelona normally had other alternatives for that right back slot, Thomas Mounier and Hector Bellerin. But Thomas Munier, um, Don Muller are also trying to complicate matters a lot, saying that they are not willing to sell. Uh, talking about Hector Bellerin, that could be the most easiest option, but it seems as though Barca don't really fancy Bellerin, maybe because of his age or whatever. But I think Bellerin, rather than having no right back, Barca should better put in the effort this, this um, last days of the transfer window to sign Bellerin. We don't have time to waste. Juan Foy will be impossible. Thomas Munier's own will be complicated, right? So why can't Barca just hurry up right now that we have just 48 hours or so for the transfer window to close? Just try to get a new, or at least a natural right back, even if it's for just the seasonal tool. No problem. We can't go ahead and be putting Jules Kunde as right back. Kunde himself even spoke after the match yesterday that his main role is a centre-back, not a right back. 
But yesterday, I, of course, he did play well. There was no problem. He like he never had any issues playing that right back slot. But come on, Kunde should be a, a centre back at FC Barcelona. That was what he was signed to play for. So let's see what Barca decides when it comes to a new right back. Because even a left back as well, I've been hearing reports that Barca wants a, a left back this summer. But I very much doubt. Now that the summer is coming to a close zone. No, normally Barca, you expect them to prioritize a new right back over a left back. We already have Alejandro Bade, who Xavi is beginning to trust now. Um, yesterday, Bade was the one who started a game. Jordi Alba started again on the bench, which I think is a good step moving forward when you talk about a team in transition. You know, trusting the youngsters to do the work most of the time while the veterans sit and watch. And once in a while, they can enter and show some, you know, that's how it is. That's how we talk about So. Let's see if actually Barca can get a new left back um, this summer, but I very much doubt that. You know, we've been talking about players like Javi Galan, Marcos Alonso, but the team has done nothing with walkout. Then moving on to the next story of discussion, a recent report from Dario AS has offered an update on Barcelona's pursuit of Bernardo Silva. It appears the Catalans have ruled out the signing of the Portuguese international due to their financial condition. The club are not in a position to afford Manchester City's exorbitant price tag for the playmaker. The report also shed light on how Man City are playing a critical role in blocking the transfer. The Premier League giants are simply not willing to offload the player this late in the transfer market, knowing they will have very little time to replace him. Not to mention, Pep Guardiola rates Bernardo Silva highly due to his technical prowess and versatility. He has been pivotal in the club's success in recent seasons and the citizens are determined to keep hold of the player for the foreseeable future. Barcelona therefore have opted to rule themselves out of the pursuit of Silva. However, that has not deterred them from pursuing other players in the market. The Catalans in fact are looking to generate some revenue with the sale of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and Memphis Depay. They are expected to use the funds to pursue one more player in this final few days of the transfer window. A left back is the likely target for coach Xavi Hernandez as he looks to find a reliable alternative for veteran Jordi Alba. However, the club are also considering a move for a new right back with Juan Foyt and Hector Bellerin emerging as the two potential options. As for Bernardo Silva, he is set to continue at Manchester City as confirmed by Pep Guardiola earlier this month. However, it will not come as a surprise to see the Catalans returning to the market for the Portuguese international later in the season, perhaps even in the January transfer window. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.